All right, so this video is going to show when you have two letters that you're making a logo type with and the overlap can be accomplished. I've already divided on this example. Um, the overlap when it's two color can be accomplished by changing the part that's intertwined's color. However, when it's one color, you wanna be able to add a stroke, a dividing stroke around the letters. So the important thing to remember here is that we have a fill that we're using divide with, and we're also going to have a stroke file that we're gonna use divide with. So in this instance, here's my S and it's pink. I'm gonna do an edit, copy, edit, paste in front. I'm going to turn it so that we can see its color to a completely different color and give it a stroke of white. So you can see that there is the line that's happening. So in stroke with something selected, you have three kinds of aligning stroke to center, to inside, to outside. You're gonna want outside because that is going to be the exterior of the shape. Otherwise it won't align correctly. All right. So I have a, um, an S that has this inside that's green. So I just gave it no color. So this is an outline, uh, outline stroke. So you can see I have it selected. So I don't want it to be a stroke before I use my Pathfinder tools. I want to go to expand appearance. And now it is a shape. I've just done object expand appearance. Okay, so if I were to change, so now you can see the stroke isn't white, the fill is, but no matter what color, you can see it still looks like the stroke, but it's no longer using a geometric line, it's now a shape. All right, so I have the shape of the outline, the actual S and the T. So now if I grab all three of these layers and I do a divide, I now have multiple things to work with. So I can now grab my blue and you can see it leaves that white gap between. Um, this can, I can still make my entire S, so I'm shift clicking between them. I can still make it black. Okay, so this outline is separate. So I can select my outline and delete it away because I don't need it there. I can delete it here. So now I have the outline appearing like it's there. If I grab my shape and I move it to where I can see transparent behind it, you can see there isn't any white. It really is just the gap. And now as a final step, I would merge back all my independent pieces. So I'm shift clicking them and I'm saying unite. So now I could select it with my black select arrow and pick a color and it should be everything except I have some inside to delete. Okay, so now I have one item that I could pick any color I wanted and it would fill. Um, so that is how you would put outlines or fake outlines in your logo type.